Welcome back to another Absolutely News with your RK coach, Guru Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 64, we're going to talk about for the Montreal Canadian Sam RFA, who is Vincent Rohrer, and much more. So don't go nowhere. Here we go, guys. Episode 64, the Abs qualify RFA. Who are they? Habs. Who is Vincent Rohrer? I call him now the double Z. Jake Allen Trey. What? We're going to talk about the situation with him. Development camp for the Montreal Canadiens. The players are on the ice today. Paul Biron update injury and NHL news today. This is all inside of the episode number 64. Let's talk about the RFA players. The players are uh, as the RFA this year is Kirby Dak, new players, Rem Pitlick, Michael Becerra, Kel Clagg got confirmed now that Montreal is not going to qualify him, so he's going to be, can play anywhere else. No words about Samuel Montembo, Corey Shaneman, and finally the UFA start July 13 at 12 o'clock Eastern time. So my point to you guys, during the day today, at some point, we're going to hear if Montreal qualify. I will not be surprised if Montreal, Gerby Dak, Rampit Lake, and Samuel Montembo, and Corey Shoneman. I believe the other players in Montreal is going to qualify them as a RFA. Here we go, guys. Let's talk about the Vincent Roller. I call him, guys, the double Z with the Z in the first name. He was born in Austria at Felkirk Town. His dad is an ex-professional tennis around the world. He was at some point 141. And then his grandfather and mother are off also professional. The, fa- the grandfather was a golfer professional and the mother was the tennis professional. He played engineer in Zurich, a Switzerland. So the mom drove him every single day, two hours back and forth. Unbelievable story, guys. Uh, his best friend, because he was there, is Marco Ruzzi. We know Ruzzi became a nine overall pick by the Minnesota Wall a year ago. And uh, Ruzzi played two years at Ottawa 67 and OHL. That's why the connection came from Ruzzi to 67. And then they invite him, Double Z, to join the team last season. Here's the problem for it's not a big problem, but he's born September 9, guys. So September 1st is is the date limit for if you, which year you get draft. If he was born nine days earlier, he would be on the draft 2023. So he's one of the youngest players in this draft. The second thing, he came in the OHL or North America one year prior to the draft. So it was not an easy path for him, honestly. Now, he was picked 75 Overall, by the Montreal Canadian, is a center 5'11", 167, and he shoot on the right. You're going to love this kid, guy. I just loved watching his clips. Uh, last year in 64 game uh, with a 67, he had 48 points, 25 goals, 23 assists. Uh, the team was really bad last year, guys. He, they are the worst team with the most, the less goal for. But his TOI, it was 1946. It was the top players forward have the most TOI. Now, what is really strange, and you need to know the kid, he plays piano a lot, and he does a lot of meditation every day, 30 minutes per day. He said during an interview, he's really helping him to focus on his game, on his life. The kid guy is just a good kid. What you're going to see of him is energetic. Guy, he go everywhere is another Gallagher back and forth. He skate all the time. I love to watching this kid. You're going to like him if ever he play one day in NHL. He compete all the time. That's the reason he's energetic. Because he's energetic, he compete back and forth. He's fearless. It's no matter who they are, he always go put his nose all the time in the traffic. He have a great high cue, guys. His high vision is excellent. His work is sick. The coaches, 67, they love this kid because his work is sick. He have, of course, a mindset of positivity inside of him. I still believe this kid is underrated because he came in North America one year too late. 
and he had to prove himself for only 10 months in hockey in North America. So it'd be interesting. I think Montreal maybe have something really in their hands. Uh, now, what you need to get better is a defensive zone coverage. You need to cover his men better. You need to get strength, uh, maybe uh, 180 pounds at some point, and his shot need to be improved. His shot is not bad, but he need more power on his shot. Uh, now, guys, what I want you to do is hear a video of uh, Double Z. Let's talk about the pick number 75, Vincent Rohrer. Born in Austria, 5'11", 166, played for the Ottawa 67 and OHL last season. Double Z, weather number 24, look like how he is not, no fearless. He loved that kind of, the pushing left and right, but look how smart it is. Already in transition, his head is up for the teammate passing. Then he drives to the net, but look, he's battled with a 71. Boom! And then he set up for that play. On this one guy, he already know his guy is going to be in front of that great pass from behind his back. Uh, the next one over there, look the ballon behind the net, and then he passed the puck in front. Another IQ sense of double Z. On this one guy, he's going to battle with Shane Wright, still the puck, and going to break away, fake from the left to the right, and boom, in the net. Uh, that's how it is. Uh, on this one guy, he's going to read the play on PK. And then the transition from the 67 is set up now. The pass is coming on this one. Looking, looking. Great pass between skate and boom. And the net. Here we go, guys. This is the double Z. Let me know below this video what you think about the 75 overall pick by the Montreal Canadian. Now, a lot of discussion recently about Jake Allen. Uh, they got a lot of phone calls from different team to request what the situation with Jake Allen for the Montreal Canadian. He's a 31 years old. He is now on his last deal of three years for the Montreal at 2.8 million AAV. The prime he got last year, guys, he was injury a couple of times. Uh, so would be interesting. I don't want to talk about his stat with Montreal Canadian stat. That's not matter. It's not, not the matter anyway. Uh, but only way I feel like if Montreal trade him is the deal is great. And I'm talking about a first round pick. I'm talking a prospect with. They have to get something major before they trade him. And everything guy came for the carry price on Saturn about next season. Can he's coming back? Can he's not coming back? Can he retire? Can he go a long term injury reserve? We don't know about carry price, and that's make Montreal not a bad situation. But maybe they cannot do what they. They won because of Carey Price. So who is the next if ever he, le he leave? But after Carey Price guy is going to be Samuel Montembo or Kaden Primo. At least they make another trade around and NHL as a backup. I don't see anybody else right now in the organization. So it'd be something interesting to follow. My thinking right now, guys, he's still in Montreal until the trade deadline. Now, a couple of days ago, this came really quiet. Everybody was focusing on the shell draft. Biron could miss the beginning of the season. What? During an interview in French, uh, injury is not back at 100%. Uh, is hip injury. Doctor told him after the end of the season, it could take about two, three, or four weeks max before he really came back at 100%. But uh, he cannot skate right now. He cannot... If the season starts today, he cannot back on the ice. And he's not ready. So his hope is the time we're help, helping him to get to recovery and get ready for the camp in September. But he said, possible, I'm going to miss the beginning of the year. Then the development camp guy, I don't want to go deep on this. We talked about this yesterday. 40 players. Cooley is out. Mayu is out. People ask me, where is Jordan Iris? You have a rules in NHL, I believe, and I could be wrong, is that you can participate to the camp twice. I don't see three times, but only what I heard is twice. And Iris did it already. So I think that's the one reason. Where Jan Mizak and Norlander, I feel both of them are also on the injuries. So that's the reason I'm not there with Mayu and Cooley. 
40 plus on the ice today, Tuesday, Wednesday. Every day, guys, going to give you some update. This is the roster for the development. I, I said this to you. I showed this to you yesterday. Look about this again. Pause the video if you have to. And uh, that will give you an idea who they are. Finally, is the NHL news today. George Jeff got trade for the Rangers to the Colorado Avalanche, signed a three years contract with the Avalanche at $3.4 million per year. The Buffalo Sabres signed the defenseman Jacob Brisson. Uh, with with them, finally, a trade bait right now, a large conversation, discussion between Ottawa Senator and the Toronto Maple Leaf about Matt Murray. They have a couple of players mentioned during that trade, Kerfoot, Connor Brown. It's something we have to pay attention and see if they have more development in the next couple of days. Today is the last day of a qualification for the rfa players some are going to get it or not example strong for the chicago blackhawk is not going to be get a qualification from the chicago, from the blackhawks i don't know what's going on with the blackhawks guys it's just crazy and we're going to give you a little bit more information about the rfa uh, tomorrow for sure who get it who did not get it those kind of qualification here we go guys 64 deal episode done deal and before we leave we want to remind you of course don't forget to click on the likes subscribe to the show sharing this video and yes you can see the number we did it five thousand subscribers thank you thank you thank you everybody and of course you have greatness inside of you have an amazing great blessing day everybody booyah